Hi Scorpia, this is Priscilla with Psychic MD and I'm here to do your bi-weekly reading. This is different for my channel, absolutely. So July 4th through the 17th and that noise you're hearing is Puppy Doll. She is snoring as I'm doing my reading. So messages for my beautiful, gorgeous Scorpios, my intense Scorpios. Oh my gosh, I got card flips. Now you guys know, I'm just going to tell you, I love Scorpio. Okay. I love me some Scorpio. I'm not going to lie. So I have here, I can't even pronounce it. Mintican. Mintican, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Okay. And take a break. Light, a life's work a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So you need to take a break. But apparently, Spirit is saying here that you're one of the original light workers. And for some reason, I feel like you need to take a break. Get off the treadmill. Perhaps you've been veered off of your purpose. And that's why we have these depth of waters. I feel like you're sitting on chilly ground. I think that right now you're really not feeling. You're not feeling it, quote unquote. Okay, you're not feeling turned on, tuned in, and turned up onto spirit, onto your purpose. You're looking at everything. And it's like, well, this is what I've been supposed to be doing. You like my English? I'm so sorry. <laughs> But this is what I'm supposed to be doing and I've conquered everything and I've done everything according to the book, the earthly book and whatever, whatever. And look at all the waters here that are left to be explored, but you're sitting on icy, icy ground and there's really no warmth here. A little bit of pink hues here, a little hints of like joy. But I think that you realize that there's a whole different world that you're not really tapped into just yet. And you aren't the original light worker. So I feel like there's a need for you to go within and journey and find yourself. And that's where taking a break is gonna come in. Maybe you guys want to visit Morocco, some foreign land, maybe Turkey, maybe mess with some stained glass um, artwork, things like that. Uh, maybe architectural structure is gonna have a big fondness in your heart. Maybe you are taking a break and I don't know, maybe looking through books or whatnot, looking at uh, hammered artwork, hammered steel I'm hearing, hammered ornate artwork like this. I don't really know, but I feel like you're going to find the zone there and it's going to help you. Um, I think that you'll be a little bit puzzled by what you're drawn to and attracted to, but I feel like go with it and get off the treadmill. Whatever it is that you've been doing has led you nowhere, but to an icy ground and maybe feeling ice in your heart right now. I feel like take a risk upon yourself and get off the treadmill, okay? That's a message that we are getting for you, dear Scorpio. So what else do we need to know about this energy? For July, please, for Scorpio. My Scorpionic friends, my intense Scorpio friends. You guys have a stare like nobody else does, let me tell you. I don't get uncomfortable often, but sometimes when a Scorpio like has that intense gaze towards me, even I squirm. I'm a Leo, I don't squirm for nobody. Moving on. Scorpio, what else do we have to know? For your energy okay go with the flow this one came out in uh, another reading but you have ammonite could be really really helpful in healing if you're into crystals or fossils or anything like that ammonite is your connection okay it's not running up the stairs in your mind it's your connection to the divine getting downloads perhaps you are a spiritual medium as well so go with the flow um, I feel like there's a lot of self-protection with your heart. This is, of course, white, and it's a nod also to the iciness. So maybe your heart's been, like, set aside and, like, held in ice for quite some time, encapsulated. And it's hard for you to let go. But go with the flow, please, because you're going to find that joy, that pink, that zeal, that um, I didn't know what I was missing, even though intellectually I knew but letting go is going to really be cleansing for you and it's going to help you get into the receiving mode, okay? So protecting your heart a little bit, I understand that. Five, six, seven, it's an incredibly spiritual card. So go with the flow and allow spirit to do what spirit does best, okay? So I feel like you have 
a lot of emotion that can come towards you and for you. Um, I'm looking at um, turquoise also, a very powerful stone for some of you. If you're into stones, crystals, and fossils, anything like that, that could be something for you to wear in order to connect a little bit better with your other, uh, well, more with your spirit side. What else do we need for July, please? I feel like there's a big protecting your heart. Why is that? Balance. Okay. It's hard for me to shuffle on camera, so. Balance. It's um, the number 40 reduces to number four. This is the four corners of your home, four corners of earth, the four directions. Uh, balance, stability, and standing firm. And look at your hands right here glowing. Okay. So whatever it is that you do, do it with purity and go with the flow. And don't feel like you have to contrive and orchestrate everything. I know that Scorpios love to really um, master everything and control everything. But it's really left you emotionally destitute. So I'm just kind of recommending that you try to open up at least a little bit, okay? Duality, many meanings and misunderstandings. So I feel like you have been long misunderstood. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that is how I count. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scorpio, that's how I count because I don't want to make a mistake. So I always like do this out loud. But it reduces to a nine. And um, nine is almost completing a cycle. Okay, but look at how hard the ground is i mean you're like up against rocks and wedged in like a cave okay so the scorpio um scorpion friend is in a cave between a rock and a hard place i feel like totally misunderstood this rock almost looks like a mirror being shattered so i feel like your illusions about life, about yourself, about people in general can be shattered. It's shaking your foundation. Um, even here, she's holding a skull and a book like the Book of Knowledge. And this could be rocking the very foundation of who you are, okay? And that's why it's so hard for you to kind of let go and not be self-protective. But it is a really good time for you to go with the flow and just understand that nobody is infallible. Is that a word? It is a word. And, um, who cares what things look like in the end once you have your stability and your joy back and knowing who you are. I feel like you are just kind of clinging to something that is long gone. Um, so it's going to be really good for you to once again go with the flow and let go just a little bit. I want to pull one more clarifying card. And again, if you like my reading please do like share comment subscribe that is how i get my mojo to keep on going sisterhood of the rose what does this mean let's find out my cards got all mixed up here this is one i've not gotten before beauty and devotion let's priestess mystic teacher so it could be that you are tuned in and tuning into yourself. You are allowing things of the material world not to mean so much to you any longer. I feel like your crown chakra is just kind of fragmented and kind of, you could even at times, honestly, I'm just telling you how I feel it and how I see it. You could feel sometimes like you're going crazy. I want to assure you that you are totally not going crazy, okay? Transformation sometimes is painful. We do have this duality about ourselves. Um, but this is the other side of it. This is you finding pure joy. This is you finding sisterhood or brotherhood of the rose. Um, and that can mean just finding beauty and devotion. Um, being in touch with spirit yourself and knowing how to connect the dots in ways that you never have before. And in a way that leaves things beautiful around you. Not in a way that leaves you isolated. So Scorpio, I hope that that makes sense to you. Much love to you. And we will see you soon. Bye.